Hi guys, this is Colin here with Print Your Mind 3D and today I want to show you a couple suggestions in terms of settings you can make to improve your dimensional accuracy. So I find the stock settings that Ultimaker has in Ultimaker Cura are a good starting point, but in terms of trying to get really high dimensional accuracy, I find making a few adjustments can drastically improve this. And I'll walk you through how to go about that. Now, the main premise, the main idea behind all of this is to essentially make a lot of things consistent and to slow a few things down. And I'll show you all of the changes to make. So once you've opened up Ultimaker Cura, you want to first come into custom mode. So you select custom down here. And then for a lot of these settings, we need to now make them visible. So if there are any settings in here that you currently cannot see, simply clicking this gear icon will allow you to make those visible. And so most of these settings are under speed. So I'm going to click the gear here. And the first things I want to make visible are all of the different speeds, including infill and wall outer and inner walls. The other settings I want to adjust or make visible are going to be all of the jerk settings. So again, same thing, inner, inner wall, outer wall and infill going to make visible. Also the acceleration. So same thing, we're going to turn on print acceleration, infill, and then outer wall and inner wall. And then the last thing is we want to have this outer before inner walls visible. All right, so once we've made all of that visible, I'll actually show you the settings or the numbers to put in here. So I find these initial settings can be quite quick, especially when it comes to the print speed. So I suggest turning this down to 35 millimeters per second. And so you wanna make all of these consistent. You can see right now, a lot of these are not consistent. So we're gonna change the infill speed and then the wall speeds all to 35 millimeters per second. So you can see these are all consistent now. And then for the acceleration, we want to turn all of these acceleration numbers to 2000. So that's going to be your infill acceleration and your outer wall acceleration and your inner wall acceleration. So you want all of these to be the same at 2000. And then your jerk settings, you want all of these to be 25 millimeters per second. Okay, so we're going to adjust all of this to 25, 25. So there you go. So we have our infill and then our walls, inner and outer, all at 25. And then the last setting you want to make sure is selected again here is our outer before inner walls. Now, the only thing about this, there's a small caveat, is if you're trying to print something that has steep overhangs, printing the outer wall before the inner wall will potentially cause prints to fail. So as long as you have sharp corners or objects that don't have any sort of steep overhang, this will be totally fine and it will help improve dimensional accuracy. But if you are printing something with steep overhangs, you may not want to use this. So those are the few settings that I suggest to use to really help improve your dimensional accuracy. So thank you guys for tuning in and be sure to stay tuned for our next video. Bye for now.